Hey guys, before we get to this video, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, today I want to share uh, so a bit of news that came out here recently, and that is that Daikin recently announced a name change. And so I want to do a video on it because if you've heard about this, if you're aware of it, most homeowners probably aren't even aware of it or what it means to our industry. But it's something that took effect on April 1st, 2022. The announcement reads something to the effect of the Daikin organization in North America is unifying its core Daikin, Goodman, Amana, HVAC brands under a new top level corporate name and structure, Daikin Comfort Technologies. And actually, if I go over here to this other article, the new name is actually Daikin Comfort Technologies North America Incorporated. Now, what does all this mean? You know, what does this mean for the company itself? Or what does it mean for you if you've already bought one of these products? And I think ultimately, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't mean a whole lot. Uh, if you're a homeowner in North America, and you've heard about this name change in one way, shape, or form, it's not gonna change a whole lot from the standpoint of a customer that has already bought one of their products. But I wanted to do this video because I think it might mean a few things for guys like me and homeowners in the future. So if you consider Daikin or Amana or Goodman or one of the other subsidiary companies that they've either acquired recently or will acquire in the future, because it seems like that's kind of the game they're in right now. Uh, what does that mean for you? So first, I would say that the number one thing that I know that is definitely gonna change that I've been told and may make a little bit of difference, and that is that a lot of the model numbers that we're used to, so if you have sold Goodman, Amana, or Daikin products in the past or bought them, and you've been comparing them and this and that, a lot of the old SKUs or model numbers that we've all gotten used to are changing. So they're going to either go away completely or at least change. And so I think, now this is just me, this is just Josh uh, speculating and predicting that, you know, someone in the future could maybe even see this and say, oh, yeah, you were wrong about that, uh, which is not that big a deal. I'm wrong about a lot of things, according to people that comment on my YouTube videos. But I believe that uh, one thing that you're going to see is a lot more bleed over between the companies. So in the past, there was a definitive difference. You saw Goodman as sort of their builder grade brand. You saw Daikin as kind of their top of the line. Uh, at times when it first came out in North America, it was even just commercial equipment and VRV and stuff like that. And then you had Amana as their other premium brand, but it was more unitary and a step up from the builder grade. I think you're gonna see a whole lot more bleed over because of this new name change and or company change or whatever you wanna call it. But I think you're gonna see a lot of products that cross over. I think you might even see some products as you do even still now, but you're gonna see a lot more of it. Products that it's basically the same exact product with different stickers. We see that all the time. We see it across the industry, you know, train and American standard, same stuff, different stickers, uh, Carrier, Bryant, same thing, all the ICP brands, all these different companies that, you know, they'll manufacture the exact same stuff, but they'll just slap different stickers on it, trying to capture different parts of the market or offer different things to their customers based on that. The one article it does read, the company believes a more unified sales strategy can ensure that Dyke and Amana and Goodman brand equipment can each be a compelling offering for major contractors to serve both premium and value customers. Didn't it already do that, right? You know, you're just sitting there, you know, didn't it already do that? I think the other thing that, you know, was, again, was still the case, but is gonna even be more of the case in the future, and that is there are other markets that Daikin markets to or that they are provided. So in other words, if you go to a lot of Asian countries or European countries, Daikin's there, but it's different stuff. And so now that they are kind of all going under the same, this, this banner here in North America, where you know they're gonna call it Daikin Comfort Technologies North America, and that is those products are either gonna be unique to this area or completely just different, right? They're just gonna be different. I've had people in Australia reach out to me and say, well, hey, what do you think about the, you know, the RK series? Or they'll throw around these different model numbers or series, and I don't even know what they're talking about because honestly, a lot of that stuff's not even offered here. 
Uh, I do know that R32 now being more introduced in our market, maybe that plays a role in all of this. So now that all these products that are new to this market, new to North America, that have been offered overseas for years, right? Now that they're coming into this market, maybe this new name change is gonna play a role in that. So just in summary, again, if you have heard about this, maybe you were like me, when I first heard about the name change, I was like, well, what does that mean? I mean, they were already kind of all operating, you know, Daikin owned the other two brands and they were all kind of doing their thing. Ultimately, I think if you see this video, the moral of the story from what I'm being told is that not a whole lot's gonna change from that standpoint. For the longest time, each one of them offered something very different to the market. And not just that, you know, one's builder grade and one's premium and stuff like that, a lot of the warranties were different with Amana's and Daikin's warranties being uh, very good warranties, but very different warranties. I think it's possible with this new name change, you're going to see a lot of these products bleed over from each brand and a lot of that stuff maybe get blurred as well. We'll see. Let me know what you think. If you've heard more about this, if you see this video and you've heard something about the name change and what that actually means to the industry or for the consumer, I'd be curious to know what 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 it is that you've heard. Maybe we'll do a follow-up video to this in the future, but comment below if you've heard something about it. That said, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.